Hi, and welcome to this video on web forms, where we'll see what web forms are and how you can set them up in Zoho CRM. So let's get started. Web forms help you capture visitors' information from your website directly into your CRM. You can easily build your web form in Zoho CRM, embed it on your web page, and start gathering submissions. Consider this example. Zilker Inc. is a software development company that offers a wide range of software solutions for its customers. They have scheduled a workshop for all users to highlight the application of the features that they offer. Tony, a prospective user, finds this on Zilker's website and clicks the I am interested button, which opens up a web form. He then enters the details required in the web form and submits. Let's switch to Zilker's Zoho CRM account. As you can see here, the data is automatically captured as a lead. Want to know how this happened? Well, it's quite simple. Create a web form in Zoho CRM and embed it in your web page. Let me show you how to do it. Once you have logged into your Zoho CRM account, go to Setup, Developer Space, Web Forms. In the Web Forms page, select the module for which you want to create your web form for from the dropdown right here. You can set up a web form for leads, contacts, cases, and any other custom module that you have created. For the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and go with leads. Go ahead and click the Create Web Form button here. What you see here is a drag and drop form builder with the form on your right and a list of fields on your left. Simply drag and drop the fields from the fields list into the form based on what information you want to collect from your prospect, like say, name, country, email, mobile phone number, etc. You can even include an email opt-out field in your form. People who want to opt themselves out of your newsletters or other email campaigns can do so by clicking this option. From the Advanced Tools tab, you can also include CAPTCHA, ask for files to be uploaded, or get the customer's consent on the privacy policy of your company. When you drag and drop the privacy policy, notice that a window pops up allowing you to customize the text that appears in your form. Enter the text of your choice and click Done. If you find a field unnecessary, you can always delete it. Click the Delete icon right here and the field will be removed from your form. You can mark certain fields like email or phone as mandatory that will help you to get in touch with your customer. Click the Settings icon, enable the Mark as Required field checkbox, and click Done. The asterisk on the field name indicates that the field is mandatory. You can also mark a field as hidden. For example, you can add a field Lead Source, choose Contact Us as the default value, and mark this as a hidden field. Your prospects will not be able to see this field while filling out the form, yet you can track which records are generated from this web form in Zoho CRM. You can even add a tip or a hint to help your customers with certain fields while filling in the form. Click the Settings icon. Here enable the Include Help Link checkbox. You can add a text explaining what the field represents or add a help link along with the text and click Done. You can further personalize the form by changing the font, font size, text color, background color, alignment, and the width of your form. Once you're done building your form, click Preview to see how your form looks. Let's go to the next step. Under Form Details, you can enter a suitable name for the form right here, like say, Contact Us. In the Form URL text box, enter the link of the web page where the form will be displayed. Enter the URL of your landing page right here. Upon submitting the form, the prospect will be redirected to this landing page of your website. Next, you can have a lead owner assigned automatically to leads generated through this web form. You can either choose a specific user for all the leads or choose a lead assignment rule. You can also add a tag for the leads acquired from this web page. Click the Tag Text box and choose from the existing tags or Create New Tags. You can enable double opt-in for your web form that helps you have a better quality mailing list because your prospect's email has double confirmation. Enable double opt-in toggle switch, which sends a confirmation email to your lead for additional verification. 
You can choose to notify the lead owner by email whenever a lead is generated to him through the web forms. You can choose between a system generated email or a specific email template. When a prospect fills in your web form, he expects to receive an email confirmation. You can acknowledge the visitor using autoresponse rules that have criteria to be met, so the leads matching these criteria will be taken care of. Email template can be chosen for leads who do not come under the criteria set by the autoresponse rule, or you can choose a standard reply for all the leads acquired using the web form by choosing an email template. Enable visitor tracking to record activity history and generate analytics based on your visitor's performance in your website. When you want to manually validate the leads that are generated, you can enable this request for approval option and the leads will appear in the lead approval page in Zoho CRM. Now you have to manually approve these records in order to add them as leads in your CRM account. Now click save once all of the settings are personalized. Now we move on to the embed options window. The code for your web form will be available in three different formats, source, embed, and iframe. Choose the format of your choice. In this case, let's go with source code. Copy the code and paste it in the web page where you want the web form to be, and voila, you have successfully set up a web form for your web page. Visitors filling in this form will now be automatically captured as leads in your CRM. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more information on Zoho CRM, please visit us at www.zoho.com slash CRM slash resources.